Good evening, everyone. I hopped on here just a few er minutes early like I usually do to make sure that everybody was notified that I was live. So I'm going to wait a few minutes if you're watching the recording. Hello. Um, but you might want to fast forward just a minute or two to get to the actual class. Comment that you're here and let me know um, when you join in. Sometimes I cannot tell who. Um, I wonder if I can see my comments. I guess not. There we go. Hey, Robin. Sometimes I can't tell who's on and, and see if anybody comments. It's kind of odd. Hope you guys are doing well tonight. Welcome everyone. I feel like even if I have on long sleeves, I'm a little overdressed for our weather today. It's it's not very thick, but gosh, it's been some crazy weather. I'm starting to see things bloom that should not be blooming right now. I'm sure a lot of you are seeing the same things. Welcome everyone that's just joining in. Comment below and let me know that you're here and say hey. We'll get started in just a few minutes. I'm wondering if I can see my comments. Can somebody just comment and say hey? And um, I just want to make sure I can see them. For some reason it seems like they're not going to show up. Welcome if you're just hopping on. I wonder if somebody, just trying to make sure. It's going to stink if I can't see the comments. Hold on just a second and I'm going to get started. I don't know if it's a setting on my phone or not. Yeah, that's odd. Sorry guys, I can't see the comments on my phone, so I'm going to try to keep up with them. Um, on my computer, that should be interesting. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with that. Just you gotta love technology. Well, hey everybody that's joined. I see Beth and um, Jennifer and Robin are here. So hey, um, I will go ahead and get started. And uh, yeah, <laughs> thank you, Jennifer. You just commented. I don't know why I was on. I was doing a video earlier and I couldn't see. Um, could not see somebody that commented. So I'm trying to follow along on my computer. Um, but excuse technology, I'm not really sure what's up with that. Um, but welcome. I'm so glad to be with you guys tonight. I, I um, looked up a bit of the information today just because I wanted to bring some something different rather than just, hey, here's the you know the remedies that you can use. I really wanted to give you some insight on why you know people have um, more allergy uh, you know symptoms, seasonal symptoms, whatever you want to call them. Um, you know today versus even 10 years ago, even a couple years ago, it seems like you hear about so many more people that have um, these issues. So I wanted to give you just a little background on that and then we will go into um, exactly uh, you know what as far as um, diet and natural um, products and then essential oils that you can use to help with these symptoms and um, hopefully decrease um, the symptoms that you have you know over time I know that um, I'll share something with you uh, in a minute about my husband he has I mean a fraction of the um, symptoms that he used to have as far as the seasonal symptoms go so it's something that you're not stuck with um, hopefully for the rest of your life you can actually do something to decrease um, the severity and um, the frequency of them as well so uh, trying to follow along still I don't see anybody that's commented <laughs> um, but uh, you still can continue to comment and if there's questions um, I'll definitely go back and answer those after the class if I don't see them on my computer 
Um, so just a little bit more about me. Um, I wanted to thank also for Jennifer for um, putting this class together. I know I've added a few people. I'm just glad you're all here. I hope we can, um, you know, learn some good information tonight that you can um, maybe just put some of this into practice and hopefully, um, you know, lessen the symptoms that you might be having. Like I was saying, I know, I mean, I get a ton of questions and so I'm glad that Jennifer suggested that we do this class because I think it's a very relevant topic. Um, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Carrie. Obviously, you know you know that, right? Um, I actually met Jennifer through uh, Robin McLeod. And she, I live in Cochrane, so we live kind of close to each other. Um, I knew uh, Robin's daughter Brittany from Pharmacy uh, World, and um, so I met that way. I actually haven't met Jennifer in person. Um, maybe that will change soon, but um, just want to thank her again for putting this together. So I am actually a pharmacist by trade, but I'm very passionate about natural health. And over the last four years, I have um, really just poured myself into this, you know, just learning everything I could, not only about essential oils, but about diet and all the things that really, you know, encompass um, healthy living and natural living. Um, even though, obviously, I went to school to learn all the information about um, different pharmaceutical medications, I value that, but I just feel like, you know, it, it's best for me, and I see that in so many other people's lives, that to just turn to something natural first and, and just see if you can work with your body. Um, uh, you know, natural uh, remedies and, and different things, they really do work to get to the root cause. That's why I said it's actually possible to lessen the severity and the frequency uh, that you have these you know, whether it be sinus infections or just um, allergy symptoms, it's really something that you can work to overcome, um, hopefully. Now, some people, I will say, some people just are, are, you know, have a specific allergy to, you know, a certain food or a certain, um, you know, something in the air, pollen, uh, something like that, that is just more severe. So I understand, of course, that you can't really overcome that, but there's things that you can do if you just have the occasional, you know, seasonal symptom, um, you know, itchy eyes, runny nose, um, headaches, sinus pressure, things like that, that you can definitely work to overcome that. Um, so a little bit about how I got started really quickly. We're not going to go over, you know, all of the basic information of essential oils like in a regular class, but I did want to kind of tell you how I got started in this. Um, I've always kind of been more interested in, um, you know, the natural route, I guess, you know, just interested in diet, exercise, and natural remedies. Um, you know, four years ago, I didn't know anything about essential oils. I got my first, um, package in the mail and have not looked back since. I use them for almost everything that you can think of, probably some things that you didn't even know they could be used for. They just are an awesome tool and that's why I educate so much on them because no matter what somebody is looking um, you know, to grow in, what area, usually essential oils can help. And so that's why I feel like education is so key because people just don't understand how much of a, a gateway to better health they really are. That's kind of what got me started on this journey. And like I said, I love all things natural health. So, um, you know, whether it be diet, exercise, um, other remedies, um, you know, supplements and different things like that. It's just something that I, um, I enjoy learning about and obviously teaching about. So um, just to kind of jump right in. So what causes allergies? You know, you might be thinking, yes, pollen, mold, different things like that. You know, people are more sensitive to different types of, you know, flowers and, and everything like that. But um, when you think about food allergies, you can kind of see how if we're sensitive to a certain food, you can understand why it would cause an infl inflammatory response in your body. That's exactly what something like pollen or mold does is it causes that within your body because it releases the histamine and we all know that. But when you think about um, having a food sensitivity, that's exactly what happens with something like that, but it's just, you know, depending on how severe, it's, it's just... Um, you know, releases more of the histamine, and, and that's kind of um, what causes um, those type of, of uh, situations to flare up. But, you know, if you think about that and you think about how closely they're related, you can understand how diet plays a huge role in um, these symptoms that we could be having, even though you might not think there's a link to, um, you know, the seasonal symptoms that you might face, such as like the itchy eyes, um, runny nose, uh, watery uh, eyes, headache that you get. So they're actually all linked. And that's because when we, um, you know, when our body comes in contact with something that, and it releases that histamine and, and creates an allergic react response, I guess, um, it's actually an inflammation, inflammatory response. So inflammation is increased. 
and that actually decreases our immune system um, because our body's having to work overtime and you know it, it's just it decreases our immunity and so that's why these symptoms come up um, it's actually our body's way of overcompensating because you know when we're sensitive to certain things it actually overcompensates to help correct that and bring it back into a sense of balance and that's why over time it can actually get worse if you don't try to work with your body and think about the things that are causing the infl inflammatory response in them um, so why are some people more sensitive? Now, I think in general, some people, they're just genetic makeup. I mean, I think they're just more sensitive to things than others. But I do feel like our food has changed over the past, I mean, I guess even 10 years. I mean, definitely 20 or 30 years when you look back. And it just seems like we're having these symptoms, these seasonal symptoms year round now. And it, you know, that makes you kind of wonder, is it, is it only from environmental factors such as the, you know, in the spring, it just used to be, you know, all the things were blooming, but now it's really year round. And so that's why I was saying, you have to really think about what is causing this. And, and is it just environmental factors? Because a lot of people say, oh, I just feel terrible. Something must be blooming outside, which that could be true, but that's not always the case. And, you know, didn't those same things bloom before? Yes. So why are we having such an increased response now? So that's one kind of thing I wanted to look at. But another reason um, I feel that, that these um, symptoms are a little bit more common is because we have so much more fragrance and synthetic um, things in our home now than we used to. The air quality has gone way down. It's actually said that the air quality inside our home is about five times worse than it is outside, which is kind of scary to think about, you know? I mean, if you just think about all the things that we bring in our home that have fragrance to them, and synthetic ingredients, it's kind of overwhelming. I mean, I remember, you know, four or five years ago, I wanted to decrease some of these things, but I really didn't know how, and I honestly did not know all the bad side effects that you could have from this. And so over the years I've learned and have cut, you know, way back I have, if any, synthetic, uh, you know, chemicals and fragrances in my home now, and I feel like, I mean, even like we're talking about tonight, even my allergy symptoms that I used to have are so much less. Um, not that I struggled, struggled terribly, but my husband did. And um, I'll share a little bit uh, later when we get to talking about the remedies, uh, how he kind of um, overcame his and it is a lot better than he used to be. But you really have to look at all these factors and that's why I wanted to mention fragrance. So if you think about candles or Glade plug-ins or even like um, body lotions or sprays that you put on, I mean, there's a ton of things that have fragrance in them. Um, our laundry detergent, dryer sheets, um, you know, if you'd use perfume, different things like that. And all of those things can really have a huge effect on our body in general, but definitely when you think about um, our response to things. So if you think about that those things really clog up your system, just say, you know, your pores, your, um, that they just, I mean, for, for lack of a better word, they really do clog up your whole body because it actually is not letting it, your body do what it naturally wants to do and then perform the way it wants to perform. So if you think about it being clogged up, that's why, you know, they have these, your body kind of has, has these exaggerated responses to different things it come in, comes in contact with because it's desperately trying to get back to that balance that it wants to get back to. And this is hindering that. So just wanted to mention that as far as when we were talking about what causes allergies. Um, let's see. So how our body responds to this? I already talked a little bit about that, but, you know, there's different... Um, pathways and cascades of different things that happen when we come in contact with something like pollen or mold or, or different things like that. But, it, you know, in it, at any rate, it, it really does cause just an increased inflama in, inflammatory response in our body. And in turn, you know, these things can be affected by, I said, by the foods that we eat. Now, I don't know if you've ever heard of leaky gut syndrome. Um, it's something that is, I, I didn't know anything about it really until I kind of got into this whole world and people started talking about it. And I was like, I don't even know what that means. Um, this can play a huge um, role in how our body responds um, when we come in contact with different things. What leaky gut syndrome is, is that um, our, our stomach, the, the lining and the cells, um, there's actually a space between there and toxic substances can actually leach out into your bloodstream because the lining of your um, 
stomach is it almost like it is, has holes in it and so you can see how that would it, it really create a, you know an inflammatory response in your body if all these toxic substances are in in your bloodstream why I'm telling you all this and then what does this have to do with what you tuned into tonight right you might be wondering that well you know it all plays a part so I wanted to mention this um, it, it actually it weakens your immune system it makes your food allergies and, and the contact with the allergens that you have increased and it and it increase it increases adrenal fatigue now I'm gonna go over what that is too but um, you know you kind of have to look at that and think are we doing ourselves any favors if we know this and we know that you know what causes um, you know this leaky gut syndrome is how we treat our body as far as what we eat and the environmental you know the environment that we're in and the fragrances and all of these different things are, are we trying to kind of work with it or work against it going into a little bit more about how you know this whole leaky gut thing actually happens it's because when we eat certain foods like um, sugar like dairy like processed foods even foods that we're more sensitive to um, you know wheat or corn or, or different things like that some people don't even realize um, especially corn a lot of people don't realize that that one it, it can um, it, it does have a lot of sensitivities attached to it because um, it's hard to digest and so when our body has a hard time digesting something it actually just sits on our stomach and it can ferment not in a good way you know when you think about fermented foods you think all these great bacteria actually that kind of ferment is really just to kind of sours on our stomach and that is what over time can cause this leaky gut syndrome and so um, once it sits on there it actually decreases our immune system because our, our body is trying so hard to um, overcome what we've done to it basically it's trying to again come back to balance and so it actually decreases our immune system and in turn that increases the inflammatory response that we have because it's trying to get back to balance now what is adrenal fatigue that you know our adrenal gland actually produces cortisol which um, is I'm sorry I was taking notes and I didn't want to um, forget anything excuse me <laughs> oh, sorry that is what actually can help our immune response to things is the cortisol and so when we have adrenal fatigue we're not getting enough of that cortisol to overcome um, and, and help our body to again fight against that so all those things together not to get too long-winded on this but it, it really all does play a difference uh, I mean, excuse me a part and when you layer all that with decreased um, sleep, increased stress, you eat sugar, you drink caffeine, those things are, are, are you know, harder for your body to overcome. It's going to decrease your immune system even more. That's why these symptoms are so exaggerated. And that's why people have such a much harder time with them today. Because if you think about all these processed foods, they all contain sugar just about. They all contain wheat, which is another high, you know, people a lot of times have a, have a sensitivity to that. And um, that, that's why, you know, all these things, like I said, play a part and why people are starting to see that more. So, all of that being said, what can we do? Um, you know, what can we do to kind of help with this, cut down on this? Obviously, I've talked a lot about diet, so we'll start there first, right? Um, like I said, if you think about the processed foods and what all they contain in them, um, and like I said, the wheat, especially the wheat. Now, there are certain kinds of wheat that are better, but still, nothing is going to be good as good to our body as whole, real food is. So, you, you know, the dairy, the sugar, the caffeine, the, um, the wheat, the processed foods, I mean, all of that is going to contribute to worsening of these symptoms. So, staying away from all of that, having that only as a treat, only every now and then, is something that we all should work towards. And it's still, it's always going to be a work in progress. You know, I eat way better than I used to, but, you know, um, you know, you just, you have times where you just want, you know, something sweet or you want, you know, some of these different foods. And so, you know, that's fine, but uh, as a whole, those times should be getting less if you're working on this and you're making progress. Not to shame anybody, just trying to tell you exactly what happens when you eat those foods and how it affects this. Um, so, like I said, wheat's a big one, corn, um, soy, dairy, all those things are very hard to digest for your body. And so, all you know, like I said, this is going to sit on your stomach and create all of these other things that happen. Um, so definitely changing your diet or just being aware of this and trying to eat less of these foods would be a great place to start. Now, different natural products um, or remedies 
Um, we'll talk about essential oils, but first I wanted to talk about some of the other natural products. So, um, vitamin D is, has found in a, has been found in a lot of studies that it helps actually um, decrease some of the allergy symptoms that we can um, that we see. So obviously you get that from the sun. If if it's you know during the winter, I take a vitamin D supplement, so um, that can definitely help um, decrease. Um, those symptoms because that actually helps to increase your immune system and a lot of people take it um, as a flu preventative um, I, I definitely make sure that I have um, extra vitamin D during the winter just because you're not getting it from the Sun which is actually the best source um, but just having that extra supplement giving it to your kids is a great way and an easy way honestly because sometimes you know diet can be challenging right so I wanted to give you these other things that you could do um, so that's one um, another one is an Omega complex so um, I didn't really realize how important it is that we get our omegas in. You know, you think about the different foods that you eat, have some, such as walnut or fish, walnuts or fish or something like that, you, that you hear about that have a lot of omegas. But, you know, we don't eat enough of those really. So a lot of, I mean, most people have to supplement. So finding a high quality omega supplement, um, no, doTERRA has one, that's what I use, that's in their um, lifelong vitality pack and they actually have a kids version that comes, um, the IQ Omega, that that's what I give my kids too. So that is important on so many levels, but it's found and in, that it helps with um, your body's inflammatory response and, and thus how it affects, how the, um, the allergens affect you when you come in contact with them. So that's definitely something you might wanna think about. Another one is probiotics. And a lot of people, you know, they're, you're starting to hear more about probiotics because they are so important and people are starting to catch on to that. Um, so you can see why I've talked about all these things about our stomach health and our gut health, why a probiotic would be very beneficial. Um, again, doTERRA has one, that's, that's the one I use. Um, it, it's really important to find a high quality one and one that has good strains to it and has a good um, encapsulation system so that it actually um, can survive to where it needs to go and that's exactly what doTERRA's have just to, just to briefly share on it a minute um, it's actually double encapsulated it has prebiotic and probiotic fibers in it and the prebiotic feeds the probiotic so that it um, produces more healthy bacteria which again helps um, your gut heal it can you can actually heal yourself from the leaky gut syndrome that I spoke about and that's exactly one of the ways that you do it is through probiotics so that's that's something that's key and I feel like everyone needs a probiotic um, now another thing is um, saline spray this is not something obviously with the like the other things like a supplement but it's something that a lot of people forget about but it can actually um, you know flush out some of those allergens that are causing um, nasal congestion or the nasal itchiness and different things like that so uh, it's really recommended that you use saline spray as a great um, natural remedy um, for uh, seasonal symptoms um, now you've all heard of honey probably um, to use for this. It, it is great if you get a raw honey um, because it has some of the pollen and some of the different things that can help combat that. But um, I feel like some people, because if you're watching this and you're like, well, she says I'm going to change, I should change my diet, but that kind of seems harder. So I'm going to do some of these other things. You know, that's a caveat to say that this is, diet is the number one best thing you can do probably, even on top of oils. I mean, I feel like that's foundational. But honey is something that will help, but it won't help as much as some of the other things. So just wanted to mention that. Um, let's see, make sure I didn't forget anything. Um, one last thing is apple cider vinegar. is is good for so many different things and these seasonal symptoms and just overall health. Um, apple cider vinegar is a great thing to take. Um, I take a shot every morning. <laughs> That's the only kind of shot that I take these days. Um, but it's a great thing just for overall health. I, like I said, I don't have very bad um, seasonal symptoms, but if you do, it, you know, that might be a great place to start because it will increase your overall health as well. I'm making sure, I, don't, I can't really see if anybody's commenting on here. I'm sorry, I'm just gonna have to go back. Um, I, I might need to see about my settings or something. I'm not really sure why it's not showing me, but I apologize for that if you guys are commenting. Um, okay, so. On to what you might have thought I was going to talk about the whole time, right? Maybe you got some, some other great information um, that you didn't even know you were going to get. So, essential oils. You guys hear me talk about them all the time. So, yes, there are some essential oils that can help with um, seasonal symptoms. So, I wanted to go over those. Let's see. 
So the first that I'll go over is actually a trio that you probably have heard about before. Um, it is lavender, lemon, and peppermint. And this is the most well-known <laughs> blend probably. Um, you know, so many people find great relief with just these three oils. I wanted to tell you a little bit about why they put these together maybe. Um, of course, I'm, I didn't put this blend together. Somebody told me about it. But, I, you know, I know that they each have benefits and if, why they would be good in this blend. So I wanted to kind of go over those. First, lavender um, it is a great blend um, for these symptoms because it actually has very high antihistamine component to it. So obviously this will be a, 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 the easiest choice to, you know, to use for that. Um, it actually helps to um, calm that response and just helps to um, decrease that inflammation. And so that's why it is great in this blend. Now, um, just to say about kind of how you would use these, I wanted to mention that because some people are like, well, that's great, but I don't know how to use them. Um, and I'll go, over, I'll go over each one, but just to use this one by itself, um, you could just use this one by itself and put, in, um, put it in a veggie capsule and take it, or you could um, put it on the bottom of your feet would be a great place. Or what I like to do is I'll just put a little bit right here, just turn the bottle over, put some right here on my fingertips, and just dot it right around my nose and eyes and it really does help take away that if you just have like itchiness on your face and a lot of times that's where you know my eyes will kind of itch and, and maybe burn a little bit in my nose so that's a great way to use lavender and you can tell those I mean that itchiness kind of goes away very quickly so that's a great way to use it if you're having that specific um, issue now the next um, component here is lemon and lemon is in here because it's great for congestion so a lot of times congestion is part of that uh, response that you have so um, it just uh, another quick way to use this one you can put some right on the like I did the lavender you can turn the bottle over and just put some right here on the bridge of your nose and it'll help with um, the runny nose that you might have and maybe some of that congestion too but it really really helps if it's running it'll help to kind of um, dry it up now if you had a child you could put this on their feet isn't is a great place to put the lemon as far as you really might not want to put that you know on their face they might touch it or, or whatever um, and definitely if you did you'd want to dilute it but uh, you know the feet uh, their feet is a great place to put the lemon for that now the last one in this combination is peppermint and um, it's in this combination because it's great to relieve um, the head pressure and tension that you might have. So um, you can use this one by itself for that, you know, just to put some on the tip of your finger and, and put it back here on the hairline and maybe up around right here and on the back of your neck. That's really great, just head tension in general, but a lot of times that accompanies these symptoms. So that's kind of why it's included in that blend or that, um, you know, combination. Um, so as far as just if you were an adult, if I was going to take this, uh, I would put um, all of these oils in an empty veggie capsule, most likely is how I would take it, um, and you could just put one or two drops of each one of these. A veggie capsule is simply just a um, vegetable capsule that you can open the top on. You can put these essential oils inside, you can pop the cap back on, and you can swallow it like a normal capsule. So you don't have to taste these. Now lavender does not taste good. Um, I mean, some people take it by mouth. I really, I've only done it once because I ran out of veggie capsules. So, would not recommend it. It does not taste good. It goes away quickly, though. So, if you had to do that, it wouldn't be too bad. But um, veggie capsules are the way to go. Now, doTERRA, actually, a couple years ago, they make this blend in a pre-made soft gel now called tri -Ease. So, that's a great thing to have on hand. We have those. That's what we use now. That's what my husband takes. He actually um, share his story really quickly. He used to be on, I think, three different medications for allergies, would still have um, these symptoms, and just really, if he took it or not, he was really still going to, you know, kind of be the same. And so, um, right when I got these, I was like, you've got to try this. They say this is great. And, I mean, he could just tell such a huge difference right away. And, um, you know, over time, he rarely has to take this anymore unless he's outside, maybe cutting grass or something. It's not something that he has to take every day like you would think, like he had to take his other medication. So it, it really does, if you if you treat your body well, if you do these things that are gonna help it come back into balance, you, you will see you won't have these symptoms so much anymore. So that's exactly what happened to him. And and I've seen this with countless other children, um, adults. I mean, th this it's amazing really what your body you know will, will be will do in response to you treating it well and giving it what it needs so that's exactly what happened with this so this blend is one, gonna be one of your best friends if you have these symptoms a lot and um, 
Didn't want to forget to mention that on kids. Um, what you could do is you could put these in an empty roller bottle um, and put some uh, carrier oil in there and then you could just rub this on their feet um, before bedtime in the morning um, however often you know there's really not um, a certain amount of you know amount of times that you can use these it will be too much because these just work so well with your body that you can actually just use them you know um, even every 30 minutes to an hour not that you would need to but it wouldn't harm you so just wanted to mention that some people are like well how often do I use it and you know I usually just recommend try twice a day you know if, the, if that if you still have those symptoms you can go up to three or four times a day just kind of see uh, you know uh, two, two times a day or three times a day is a good starting point um, but that, that's the way that you would use them on children. Now, it, it any you know if anybody had these symptoms, you could actually just pop these into the diffuser. They all smell really good together, so you could um, cleanse the air, you could help with these symptoms, and um, that's a great thing to do, if, especially if it's spring and it's just, you know, everybody's got the symptoms, just pop them in the diffuser. Now, I always mention that's a great place to start. Now, if you're still needing something else, I wanted to mention three other essential oils that you can add to this or you can just use them by themselves. The first one is Melaleuca. And um, it's, it's, it's also known as tree, tea tree oil, so you might know it as that name. Um, this one is great for... Um, these uh, seasonal symptoms because again it helps um, decrease the inflammation in your body it has different um, components to it that help your body's response to these um, and it is it's a great one um, just for cleansing in general but it's great to add to this blend because it, it has those antibacterial antiviral antifungal properties to it the fungal definitely as far as the mold if you had um, allergies or sensitivities to that it would it would definitely help with that so this one is probably the first one I would add to see how that kind of did. Like I said, you could just add that one directly to this um, trio of oils that I spoke about, the lavender, lemon, and peppermint, or you could just try to use it by itself. Um, again, you could put it in a veggie capsule. You could put it on the bottom of your feet. Um, you know, use it really any of the three ways, aromatic, topical, or, or um, internal. Okay, so the next one is Arbor Vitae. And this is actually one of the newer oils. Um, I think it's probably about a year and a half old now, old as far as that, that's when they introduced it to us for purchase. But um, I, and I didn't really, I didn't love the smell at first. It comes from a tree, um, so it has a very woodsy smell, but I love it now. I love the scent. It's very unique. It doesn't smell like anything else, but it is one that um, a lot of people don't think about when they they think about, you know, these seasonal symptoms. And it's one that's awesome for that. You know, it actually comes um, from a tree that lives to be over 100 years old. It's it's not a redwood. Um, it's obviously the arborvitae tree, but... Um, it comes from a tree that, that actually has great repellent against bugs. And so it has a lot of those um, components to it that help with those environmental threats. And so that's why it's great to use for this. I've seen, I mean, sometimes I'll just use this oil by itself and can see amazing results with these symptoms. But it's a great one to add to, um, to the, the trio that I spoke about. Um, or you can just add, you could add all the oils. You could add Melaleuca, Arbor Vitae to the Lavender, Lemon, and Peppermint. So there's not really a wrong combination with these. Just wanted to say, because I mean, everybody's body's different. So you're going to have to see what works best for you and just um, kind of uh, how your body responds to the different oils. Um, I wanted to mention one thing. On the Arbor Vitae, you cannot take this one internally. So you could use this one topically, obviously, or aromatically. Um, and topical um, works really great and it, I, I like the way it smells honestly so I like to diffuse it in, in general but um, either one of those two ways you could use that one and the same goes with the last one that we'll talk about is Purify and um, Purify is one that you cannot use internally as well but and this is another one that a lot of people don't think about to use um, for these symptoms but somebody mentioned it one time and so now I like to pull this one out when I have issues with that and it's really great it, it, you know even just for um, if you're kind of feeling under the weather in general this one's good so this one has lemon lime um, fir it has pine citronella melaleuca and cilantro so it's a blend of those oils and most people know this one because it's great for you know cleansing the air as far as um, odors it's really great for um, cleaning so a lot of people use this one to clean with but it is very cleansing to your body as well so this one is a great one to add um, use by itself add to that trio and um, just kind of up up the ante I guess you could say 
Um, and hopefully, you know, one of those three added to that trio, I mean, you should be pretty good with these symptoms. I mean, I've never had anybody come back and say, none of those worked. Usually it's just that they just needed to add something to that base trio that I spoke about. So um, those are kind of some, some, you know, oils, essential oil remedies that you could try, um, you know, if you were still having issues as far as, um, uh, you know, with, with seasonal issues or just in general you have allergy symptoms. So that was the information that I had for you tonight. I hate that I can't see these comments. I'm going to try to refresh on my, um, my computer and see if I can answer some of those while I'm on. I really apologize for that. I don't know. I'm going to have to check on that. So hold tight just a second here. I don't see any more comments. So if you have any more questions, <laughs> just post them. And uh, right when I get off of here, I'm going to um, to go on and check the comments. Now, if you guys were on live, I wanted to do a quick little giveaway um, just, just for you being on. So if you're on, comment that you're here. And um, I'm going to give someone a free diffuser. This little bad boy right here. So somebody is going to get this little diffuser that will be great um, to use with your oils. You can use these. All the ones that I talked about, pop them in here and it will help with those seasonal symptoms. Now while you're doing that, and not that I, not that I can see you commenting, right? Um, I wanted to mention, you know, if, if, you're, if you've not already gotten started with essential oils, you know, I didn't want to go uh, into that too much because it was focused on here, but you know, getting, you know, joining in this, like I said, it's just a gateway to better health. So all that I was talking about earlier about the different changes, changes that you can make as far as diet and all these natural remedies and just different ways of supporting your body. This is one of the best ones, but just, just because, you know, it can really help in any of those areas. So I'll be happy to help you. Jennifer will be happy to help you. There's a great um, promotion going on this month that she mentioned. It's called New Year, New You. And that just means if you um, get started um, and you spend a certain amount, we can help you with that. Um, and you purchase um, a certain amount next month, you get $100 in free oil. So it's really a great thing that they do. They do it every year around this time. It's a great promotion and a great time to get started. Because once you get started, you know, with a membership and just get your oils in, it's really just more than, you know, paying the membership fee of $35 and joining in. You get all the support. I mean, that's one of the best things about this to me is that, you know, if you go purchase, you know, products, uh, you know, at uh, off the store shelf. I mean, there's tons, you know, somebody said today, oh, I just saw, I didn't know Walgreens had essential oils. And I'm like, no, don't do it, you know. Um, first of all, they're not the same. They're not even, you can't even really say that they're in the same class. But um, you're not going to get what you need. You're not going to get the support that you need, the community. There's just, I mean, I've learned so much from the people that, um, you know, that I, that I kind of joined in with and kind of linked arms with as far as on this journey and it's really invaluable information so it's way more than just you know paying for the discount or you know or joining in with a membership it's really that you get this a ton of support and just somebody that you can come back to and ask these questions and kind of um, you know help you on your journey so just um, oh, okay I do see comments um, Je Jennifer asked it was Meloca Purify, and what was the third extra you mentioned? Um, it was Arbor Vitae. It comes in a little small bottle like this. Um, that was the third one that I mentioned. So, thank you guys for, for um, commenting. I do see some of them on my computer now, and I do apologize. Um, I'm going to actually um, post some of the enrollment kits just in case you guys wanted to um, know more about that. Like I said, um, this wasn't a full out basics class, so I wanted to focus just on this. But if you have any questions, we would be happy to answer them. If you actually want to view a basics class, if this is your first class, we'll be glad to send you a recording of that and, and just kind of um, catch you up to speed on um, what essential oils are, how you can use them, you know, uh, all, all that jazz. So that's what we're here for. Anyway, thank you guys for joining. I hope this was helpful. Um, I hope that it wasn't um, a, a, a diet talk. I didn't want it to be that at all. I did want to stress the importance of what that can mean for these symptoms if you're really having, you know, really sub more severe issues and you want um, some relief from that. So post any questions that you have and I'll go back and comment on them. And then once we get off, I will also announce the winner of the diffuser. See you guys later. Have a great night. Bye.